We are here about 10 miles north of the Michigan-Indiana border along the shores of Lake Michigan, home to many different sand dunes. Uh, hey everyone, Scott, and welcome to Warren Dune State Park. Warren Dune State Park has quite a lot to offer from all the different sand dunes. Yeah, just take a look at this. But if you look all around, you can see all the different sand dunes, also all the different kites, and there's actually several miles of different hiking trails here, which we'll actually, we'll do some hiking. But we'll start over at Lake Michigan really quick. Warren Dunes State Park also has a great swimming beach over here, although not many people are in the water today because it's very choppy. In fact, if, when the red flag is flying, that means it's best to stay out of the water, although you can at your own risk, though. And there's also a campground over that direction as well. Near the park entrance is where the campground is, or at least the entrance to the campground. And we're starting off at Lake Michigan. here at, to the side of the main beach I actually have a separate beach that's pet friendly so if you have a if you have a dog with you you could definitely take your canine friend over this way but we're here at the hiking trails and this one goes right along the shore we'll actually be coming back that way and we're going to be heading over to trail three in the direction of Mount Randall which is right over there all right we're heading down the trail and as you can tell it's Not gonna be just a straight path. It's gonna wind through the, some of the sand dunes and we'll be going up some hills over here. And we're slowly getting away from the sand dunes and entering more of just a dirt path as we enter the woods. But with all the trees, there's a little bit of less breeze in here, but you can still definitely feel the Feel the wind coming over from the lake because it's not far over that way. But at least with wearing hiking shoes, this is a lot easier walk. Gotta say, it's pretty cool back in here. For the most part, this trail has actually been nothing but a bit. Uh, Long ascent, although we're about to go down over here. <clears throat> but yeah, when going on this trail, definitely bring, bring some water with you. Thankfully, I have some on my with my me and my backpack. Oh, yeah, watch your stuff here. Oh, the beautiful terrain in here. It's been a very nice walk so far and I've only just gotten started. Look at all the greenery in here. It's really beautiful. But as I'm getting a little further away from Lake Michigan, it's the wind is definitely not as strong here to where, not too much of a breeze, but still not too bad. It's in the 70s right now, so it could be a lot warmer. Oh, wow. 
Gotta be careful on these steps. Going down a sand dune right now. It's one unique thing about this trail is that it's not all this dirt path. It's a good thing I have hiking shoes on right now. <laughs> that could be challenging to go, go back the other way. All right, made it off the Mount Randall Trail, which is the one we just got off of over there. And if you continue down that way, you can actually head over to the campground, or we'll go this way to go deeper into the woods, which is exactly what we're gonna do. Barry, yeah, let's go up to the top really quick. I made it all the way to the top and I am tired. Come over here and look how high up we are. It's not easy climbing up a big sand dune. And I've been working out for three and a half years. Basically when I first started the weight loss back, back then. But still, this is a spectacular view. I was planning on climbing another sand dune out that way, but I'm always at the beginning of the video, but I'm probably not going to do that. Because I'm kind of worn out a little bit from, from this climb up, but the view is really beautiful. You can even see I-94 from here. What a beauty. See Lake Michigan all the way out there. All right, now I'm gonna climb or go down the sand dune and continue on the trail. I'm glad I brought, brought water with me. All right, back on the trail and made down that sand dune and a little fun fact, uh, as I was going up that sand dune, I actually ended up dropping my sunglasses and I'm very thankful I was able to find them as I went back down. In fact, they're about 95% submerged by sand. Thankfully, just a tiny bit was peeping out of it to where I was able to obtain them. So I got lucky with that. Because if you've, I don't know if this video will be going, I think this video might go up before, but or if not, at least after. The sunglasses I was wearing earlier this year, I actually, Broke one of the straps while I was in Colorado. And I bought the, my current sunglasses at the Badlands in South Dakota. And I almost lost them after having them for only a week and a half. Boy, I'm glad I found them in the sand though. And then you can even smell some of the fire from the for some of the campsites nearby. Yeah, the trail goes pretty deep back in the woods and I already got bit by a mosquito along this trail. Thankfully, it's like, although I'm probably one of the very few, I'm actually wearing long pants right now. And it's probably gonna keep the mosquitoes off my legs. So, although not the best idea for that sand dune, but at least it'll keep the, the creepy crawlies off my legs. But yeah, this is a very nice trail, I have to admit. Compare that sand dune, this is a cakewalk. All right, made it to the next trail marker, finally. We're gonna go up this way to five and then we'll head over to 13 and then make our way back over to the sand dunes. So let's go up. Okay, actually if I go to marker seven, I can go to 14 and that'll take me on the trail along the dunes back to where I started today. All right, made it out of the woods and we're back into the dunes. As you can tell, we're more open areas now. There's a trail that goes along down that way, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take the, the coast back. Made it back and the pump, part of me actually got a little wet going along the shore there. We'll go up by the by the bathrooms and we'll close out the video. 
And we made it back, and I'm a little tired right now. That was a lot of walking and climbing a little bit, too. But yeah, Warren Dune State Park is a, is a great Michigan-based sand dune state park to visit. As you go south of the Michigan-Indiana border, you actually go to the Indiana Dune State Park, where there's also another great park, too, you can check out. We got the Tower Hill Dune behind me. It goes 260 feet above the lake level. Get another great view from up there. I might do that another time though, because I already climbed up with a pretty cool sand dune. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely give this video a like or a thumbs up. For more Scam 95 travel videos, definitely click that subscribe button. At the end of every video, I've linked to my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram pages. I thank you for watching today's video here at Warren Dune State Park, and this is Scott signing out.